Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Earth and Life Science which is all about the origin and evolution of the eukaryotes. This will be the second quarter topic and week 1 to 2. This lesson is under the milk based. For the most essential learning competencies, after going through this lesson, you are expected to explain the evolving concept of life based on emerging pieces of evidence. For the objectives, at the end of one hour session, 80% of the students are able to first is to define what is eukaryotes, the second one is to explain the origin and evolution of eukaryotes, and the third one is to appreciate the concept of the evolution of eukaryotes and the organelles by answering the riddle. The following are the difference between the prokaryotes and the eukaryotes. For the prokaryotic cell, pro which means pre and karyon which means nucleus and it is originated about 3.5 billion years ago. It is a primitive form, has unicellular, developing nucleus, small in size and bounded non-bounded membrane. For the eukaryotic cell, EU, which means true, and karyon, which means nucleus. It is originated about 1.2 billion years ago. Advanced, it has multicellular cell and true nucleus present. It has larger in size and it has membrane-bounded organelles. Nucleus is not often preserved during the fossilization, but other traits provide evidence that a fossilized cell was eukaryotic. These eukaryotic cells are generally larger than the prokaryotic cells. A cell wall with complex patterns, spines or spikes probably belong to a eukaryote. Researchers and scientists also look for biomarkers, a substance that occurs only or predominantly in cells of a specific type. For each eukaryotic for each of the eukaryotes, just like the steroids found present only to the eukaryotes. In the organelle nucleus, the DNA or the deucyribic nucleic acid of the prokaryotes lies on an enclosed in the cell cytoplasm, while the DNA of the eukaryotes are enclosed with the endomembrane or the group of members and organelles. The nucleus and endomembrane system evolved when plasma membrane of an ancestral prokaryote folded inward. 
Mitochondria and chloroplast resemble bacteria in their size and shape, and they replicate independently of the cell that holds them. Bacteria have their own DNA in the form of a singular chromosome, and have at least two outer membranes and innermost membranes similar to bacterial plasma membrane. Recognition to their similarities lead to endosymbiotic hypothesis, which states that mitochondria and chloroplasts both evolved from bacteria. Endosymbiosis, or living inside, and refer to a relationship on which one organism lives inside another. Given the mitochondria and chloroplast evolved from bacteria, scientists are now studying which modern bacteria are the closest to these organelles based from their studies, metabolic and genetic similarities between organelles and specific bacterial groups are considered to be evidence of shared ancestry. The following are the different cell organelles and its function. The first one is the nucleus. So the nucleus houses DNA or the hereditary material as well as the various proteins and the nucleolus considered as the brain of the cell because it directs all the activities of the cell. Another organelle is the mitochondria. So mitochondria are some of the largest organelles within a cell, also known as the powerhouse of the cell. It is where the energy of the cell, which is the ATP, is produced. Another organelle is the ribosome. So ribosome are tiny organelles that contain RNA and specific proteins within the cytoplasm. Within the cell, ribosomes are directly involved in the manufacture of proteins. Another organelle is the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Unlike the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosome attached to its surface. It is involved in the manufacture of various proteins in the cell. On the other hand, the rough endoplasmic reticulum is involved in the production of antibodies, insulin, as well as transportation of proteins into the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Another organelle is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is named so because it lacks a ribosome on its surface. As a result, it is motor in appearance as compared to the rough endoplasmic reticulum. It is involved in the synthesis of lipids and carbohydrates that are used to build the cell membrane. Other functions of smooth endoplasmic reticulum includes the following, transportation of vesicles, enzyme production in the liver, contraction of muscle cells in the muscles, and synthesis of hormones in the brain cells. Another cell organelle is the Golgi apparatus. It is responsible for transporting, modifying, and packaging proteins and lipids into vesicles for delivery to targeted destinations. It is located in the cytoplasm next to the endoplasmic reticulum and near the cell nucleus. While many types of cells contain only one or several Golgi apparatus, plant cells can contain Another cell organelle is the lysosomes. Lysosomes act as a waste disposal system of the cell by digesting obsolete or unused materials in the cytoplasm from both inside and outside of the cell. Thus, lysosomes are also called the suicidal bugs of the cell. Another organelle is the vacuole. A vacuole may be described as the space inside the cell that does not contain cytoplasm. It is surrounded by a membrane and filled with fluid. Vacuoles store various molecules including enzymes, waste products of the cell, water, and even food material depending on the type of cell. Another cell organelle is the cytoplasm. It is where all the organelles are located and it has a jelly-like fluid. 
Another cell organelle is the centrioles. These are the tube-like structures that aid in cell division. They generally are found close to the nucleus and are made up of nine tube-like structures that each have three tubules. Centrioles are found inside the centrosome. Centrioles separate the chromosomes during the animal cell division. Centrioles are only found in animal cell. Thank you.